Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to be starting our work at looking at biographies. So we're going to learn a little bit more about what a biography is and how they are written. So a biography is a story written about someone and it was written in chronological order and it includes all kinds of information about where um, the person is from, where they were born, where they, what they did for their childhood, important events in their lives, um, including things that they have achieved and um, things that they have been able to do. So there's a, a good chance that a biography is about someone that is no longer alive. The most important thing is, is that a biography is written by somebody else. So it would be, for example, something like me writing about one of you and your lives. Okay. It is not, a biography is not to be confused with an autobiography, much like this one that I have here about Michelle Obama. An autobiography is written by the person themselves. So an autobiography, for example, if I were to write about my life, that would be an autobiography. So today we are going to be looking at biographies. So stories that are written by somebody else about someone. A biography is a life story written in chronological order. It can include information about when and where the subject was born, their childhood, important events in their lives, including information about what they did or achieved. If the person is no longer alive, it may include information about when and how they died. Together, we are going to look at the biography of John Logie Baird, who was a Scottish engineer who is most famous for being the first person to demonstrate a working television. Right after this um, short video, I will be putting up the text map about John Logie Baird for um, the biographies. Please make sure to have a read through it, looking at um, the way it's written, the way that it's structured and everything that's been used in it. Um, you can pause the video, have a read through at your own speed and make sure that you have a little bit more of an understanding about who he was, where he grew up and just exactly what he did. So once you've finished reading our text map, hopefully you have learned a little bit more about John Logie Bird and who he was. So what I would like you to do is go and do a little bit more research, uh, learn a little bit more about him and see what information about John Logie Bird that, that you can come up with. Because what we're going to then do is using all that information, we are going to create a mind map all about him, what he did and all the important things in his life. So 
the very start of my mind map about John Logie Bird is about where he was born. So he was born in Helensburgh. Uh, in Scotland and he was born on the 14th of August 19 oh sorry 1888 then went to Larchfield Academy and then he followed that up by going to the West of Scotland Technical College And then the University of Glasgow. So hopefully you take a little bit of time to finish up your mind maps with all your information that you can gather about John Logie Bird. And then uh, don't forget to share them with me on Tapestry. Make sure I get to have a look at them or on the Instagram page or on Facebook, um, wherever your adults are able to put them. It would be lovely to see all the information that you are able to collect about him. To end off with, um, I just wanted to show you the class text, which is a series of unfortunate events. Uh, the first book in the series is called The Bad Beginning. If you are able to read it, please do. If you are unable to get it, it is available in an audiobook online. Uh, I managed to find it on YouTube. And you, with your adult's help, you can listen to some of it and take note of where you are every time you stop it so you can start from there again. As you may have guessed from the theme of our text map, we are looking at inventors this term. And this story follows uh, three children, the Baudelaire orphans, Violet, Klaus and Sunny. Uh, Violet herself is a wonderful inventor, inventing all kinds of interesting things. So please do share with us if you are listening to the audiobook or if you are able to read it and let us know what you think of it. Um, there are quite a few books in the series if you are looking for something to start.